Welcome, Matt Taylor, to Poppy's TV. Belatedly, let's say, it's your third game yeah. with us, first at home. You scored a fantastic goal last week at Gloucester on your debut. Been involved in three crunch games the day against York City. Played superbly yeah. again, nil-nil. We roasted them, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I think after 20 minutes of maybe showing them a bit too much respect, we um, really took the game to them, got in the faces, and um, I think that we're unlucky really not to take three points away from that. Certainly had uh, very good chances. Luke Graham had a good chance in the second half, and Aaron O'Connor had a couple of uh, chances. Uh, Paul White pulled a couple of good saves. Your deliveries into the area are pretty good as well. It uh, must be great for you coming on loan and having such a successful time so far. Yeah, I think all all round performance is really good today. I think that obviously, like you mentioned, all brilliant saves, and I think that you know the pressing, the energy that the whole team showed was great. You know, I think that now that we um, have sorted out everything part of our game. Uh, the little final details at the end to get us the goals should be uh, what takes us into the next few weeks. You, um, as I say, made your debut at Gloucester last week, scored the goal from, from the free kick. Um, yeah. Paul Cox said we only met the team about half an hour before you actually um, went out there with the team. It must be quite strange all the way from Harrogate to meet a new team and then yeah. go out to perform like that. Yeah, well, I only signed on loan on the Friday, so I obviously had a day to prepare for the game. Um, I spoke to the gaffer on the phone on the Friday. Um, drove up to Gloucester um, direct and then met the, met the boys an hour and a half before kickoff. So it was a case of quickly getting to know the lads who I was going to play with, um, you know, like Maka, who was going to be my left side of centre half. Um, but I think, you know, the lads have been brilliant with me, you know, since I've come in. They've all introduced themselves to me. And now after three games, I'm starting to learn how everyone plays and they're starting to learn how I play as well. So I think that from here on out it's only going to get better good team spirit in the side now isn't there since Paul Cox has um, been uh, involved with the club the club of uh, unbeaten actually under, under, under Paul and we're steering away from relegation and uh, you're from Harrogate Town on, on loan uh, was it a, a strange move was it you know you wanted to play football obviously not be on, on the sub bench yeah. but uh, moving from Harrogate or in the playoffs um, you know you're you still keen I think well yeah of course I am I think it doesn't really matter where we are in the league I'm here to you know play games I'm here to develop myself as a player but also you know the, you know it's not a dis, it's not, not a disadvantage of being at the bottom of the table it's just you know adding another string to my bow um, me getting men's football at a decent level um, you know whatever wherever I'm in the table it doesn't matter um, obviously being on loan from Harrogate who were doing so well at the moment it was a little bit different you know like our pitches at AstroTurf pitch you know, a bit different to ours, which is a bit different to yeah to the home pitch. How did you yeah. find that out there today? It was tough, yeah. I mean, I, I was just saying to the gaffer, then it's it's complete concentration. Like whereas you know when you can rely on a flat surface, you don't have to think as much of you know where the ball is going to be. But it is 100% concentration, like every single touch. Which, in fairness, is only going to improve me as a player yeah. again. Technically, to say playing our, at Curzon on Monday, that was a flat pitch, wasn't it? And um, yeah, that really was good quite pitch. a pitch. Yeah. Moving on to our quagmire must be quite, <laughs> yeah. uh, quite, quite difficult or different for you. <laughs> yeah, really. yeah, definitely. Talk us through the goal then against Gloucester. It was a great strike. The goalie seemed to see it late, didn't he? But it was a well struck and must be pleased yeah. with that one. Yeah. So I mean, the gaff has obviously seen in the past that I've been on free kicks on uh, previous loans that I've been on uh, games Trinity in the same league a couple of seasons ago. And he's basically just said to me, you know, anything on the right hand side, you're on. Um, this being a little bit more narrow in the pitch, um, I've heard a shout to basically just put it on target. Um, with the lads running across the ball as I struck it, I basically just tried to hit, hit it on target. Um, decent connection with the ball. And then luckily enough, it's found its way into yeah. the bottom corner. Just bounced in front of him, didn't it? And it did, yeah. Surprise. Marvellous. Mean, yeah. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not the best free kick in the world. However, matter, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, as long as you get a good connection, um, and you find the corners, then most of the time it will go in. So, yeah. You're going to be here during some of the toughest games that we're going to have in the season two against Bradford Town, which yeah. of course will be very, very difficult. One against Boston United away at yeah. Boston, Alfred and Town up your neck of the woods, maybe a little bit, yeah. and uh, Manchester in the trophy yeah. next week. So, yeah, very, uh, busy. very busy time for us and for yourself. And. Uh, you it is, know. yeah, yeah, and it can only develop me as a player. You know, like I said, obviously I was I was on the bench at Harrogate. I was coming on, you know, for maybe the last twenty minutes. Um, but you know, me being chucked right into the thick and you know thick Thrust end of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So you know, I think there's nine games for the to for the total amount of time that I'm on loan here. Um, you know, I've played three games in seven days now. Um, that can only be you know. How do you feel physically enough. after that? Physically, I feel well. You know, I look after myself after games, and obviously still going into Harrogate and looking after myself there. Um, but I feel well, you know, like I said, getting these, getting this game time into my legs can only stand me in good stead for the rest of the season. 
Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming over. Getting you did a good shout. You got half the pitch on you. Yeah, you had some on your neck it. when you came yeah. in. Great to see you, Matt. <laughs> and uh, much, best of luck uh, next week against uh, Manchester. We should be there covering it for you. Yeah, so, thank you. Brilliant to have you in here. Thanks. Cheers. That's uh, Matt at Taylor. Well, Hello. Paul, what a fantastic game that. Nil-nil against York City, who were the league leaders for a while. A game really, nil-nil. We murdered them. Uh, I wouldn't say we murdered them, but I, I, I think on that surface today, I think it was it was a really entertaining game. Um, I thought we sat off York, uh, who to be fair have got some very very good players, got some really good players, and um, we sat off them and and allowed them to set the tempo early on. I think when we got the grips with that, uh, I thought we could have come in probably one or two to the good if we were just a little bit more composed and a little bit. Um, as a Mr. Glorious chance only in the first half and he yeah, went over the bar. And... Yeah, I, I mean to be fair, the good thing about Az is, I mean. As is doing so much for the team mm. at the minute. I mean, people look at his goals, but he's working so hard for the team as, as well. And uh, so, he, I, I, I'd struggle if Az is not in positions. Well, you Patterson know, to, to, saved the brilliant save from Az, didn't it? To, to, to miss them, yeah. Um, but I thought I thought we imposed ourselves on York, and um, look, it was a difficult surface for, for both teams, and, and credit for both teams who I think battled well. I've just walked across it now, and you know, just same with tails. Then it, it, it was a tough game to play any kind of football. But both teams, I think, you know, try to do the right things with the ball, and um, but I'm just pleased with those. I think we, we created chances. Maybe on another day, I I don't want to be too damning on the lads, but if we'd have been a little bit more, uh, a little bit sort of, just had a little bit more quality and, and, and took our time in the final third, and uh, we may have we may have won, you know, won the game. But um, it, it's a tough one because I've just said to the lads, in fact, they'll give you confidence. Um, Nothing then, will, then, then nothing will because I thought we I thought we really imposed ourselves second half was end to end I think we kept our concentration um, but we wanted to go and win the game you know we want to try and win football matches here for our supporters and um, towards the end it was wave on wave of attack wasn't it it was just a matter of when Ketram and he had the ball in the net but it never happened yeah. but the, the, the thing is that, uh, the good thing about that is that we never left ourselves kind of really open to the counter um, because they've got some good players the boy Kempster um, you know I, I, I was I was I looked at him today and just think to what a good player he is. You look at you know Macca and McNulty at the back. Uh, you look at the experience and, and, and the good players they've got. Defies his physique, doesn't he, McNulty? He's a, <laughs> he look, he's, he's a good player. Um, I've known him a number of years. And I've heard sort of a lot of things said about him, but wow, um, I think he's been to Wembley sometimes more times than than, than some people have played actually football matches. He's, he's a good player. He's a good player. I'd, I'd have him in in any side at this level of football. He's, he's excellent and. Uh, Look, they've got good players, and I, and I think it's just the way we impose ourselves. I was pleased with that, especially after the first 15, 20 minutes when we when we stood and admired them a little bit. Um, when we got in, played our game, um, you know, we created chances. And um, like I say on, on another day, you'd say we, we've been very unlucky, but I always think you make your own luck. And we create chances, but we've got to stop putting them away. Unbeaten still, Paul. The record um, goes on since you've been here. Another point. Um, Blythe lost and um, Bradford won, but another point away from 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 them. Um, I think it's Kidderminster are back into the fold now. We're climbing up the league. It's going well. Uh, a rest from it all next week with the trip to Manchester again and the trophy, and then we've got uh, Alfreton before two cracking games against Brackley. Yeah. Um, team, you say you didn't use any subs today, so some rested legs. Yeah, well, I think I think the positive was, like I say, we, we only had four. I know we named five on the bench, but we only had four fit players, you know, for the bench. And, and to be fair to the lads, I thought we might have been sort of blowing a little bit late on because the, the two games in, in the three days and the injuries and the illness we've had in the camp have really, I thought, would really take the toll. But, but once again, I, I just I give the boys an incredible amount of credit. Um, you know, they've, 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 they've gone through a brick wall um, and they keep answering, answering, answering questions. Uh, in terms of the league, I think there'll be a number of teams get pulled into it. Looking at us now, I think Hereford got beat again today. Um, they, they, I think there'll be a lot, a lot of clubs that get pulled into it, but they're all the controllables for us. All, all I want to do is make sure that we're we're focused. Um, you know, we, we're consistent and um, we keep trying to win football matches. And like I say, next week's a little bit of a rest from it, but what a big game for us! What a big game for us! I hope we take a lot of supporters up there because. It'll be partisan up there. They'll, you know, they'll have a big crowd and uh, they'll get behind their team. And um, but look, it's another challenge, a different challenge to today. But um, 
one, I think the boys are, are looking forward to again, and I think I think that's a positive now. I think the boys are looking forward to, to coming in, playing. Well, the spirit's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, you know, we're levelling it out to make sure we're not getting in any way arrogant, like I think we did in the first half at, uh, against Blythe. Um, yeah, there's been a, there's been an incredible learning curve for, for the players, but they, they need to take all the credit because they um, they've gone out there and tried to win a football match today, and it's a very very good side. And uh, like I say, on another day. If we do. A little disappointed. I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, I think I think when you play against you know the big clubs like York, um, you need to be ruthless in that final third and take your chances. Um, so it's a 50-50 with me. Is that I just know what these boys are giving us at the minute and giving the supporters and the mindset that they've got is excellent. And uh, so I don't want to be too harsh on them, but you know, you think what a great opportunity we have because we've created some good chances and uh, and put and put a good team. Under 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 pressure at, at key moments in the game, um, so yeah, it's it's a little bit of disappointment, but I think you you've got to look at it. I think we look today, and you look at I look at York and go, it's probably between them and Kingsley now, who, who's probably going to win it. Um, good players all the way through the side, and we've we pressed them, we pressed them, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those where I hope we don't look back and go, it was, it was two points lost. How was finally? How was Rocky um, Ramshaw today? Yes, he's all right. He's put his boxing gloves away um, today. He's uh, took his gum shield out, uh, but no, it was all. Um, uh, if being totally honest, I was disappointed with with some of the comments that came out after that game, and um, so I watched the video again, and I heard you know their the manager talk about us encroaching, and uh, after two minutes. Um, you know they tried to get Kenneth sent off and we're, we're on the pitch and then tried all the, the, the psychology of you know where this and where that and um, I don't think we've got a bully in our in our in our side to be honest I, you know I've had some mentally strong players that you know they could go put themselves around but I thought some of the um, some of the comments that came out afterwards were, were weird um, when you look at the facts and the facts were after two minutes they were they were all on the pitch trying to get a, a player sent off so um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's strange, but uh, you know, there's only one thing worse than being talked about. I think and that's not being talked about. And I think Most now, we're, that, didn't they? well, yeah, we, 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 at the minute we're not a soft touch. We're not a soft touch, and um, you know, I back my players in in, in everything. And, and some of the comments I thought were, were a little bit cheap and, 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 and tacky, if I'm going to be totally honest. So uh, you know, I'll always come down on the player. If a player's done something wrong, I, I always think be honest with it. Um, but um, yeah, I think it was a bit. A bit disrespectful to be fair um, you know but we've gone away to a, a club you know it's won the last three games won again today and probably limited them to one one shot on target and that was a, a bit of a, a deflection we've created good, some good chances again so um, controllables and controllables I can't, I can't control what anybody else does within our camp we'll we'll keep focus we'll we'll keep going to try and win football matches we'll be respectful as we always are of, of opposition and um, you know, we, we'll try and get enough points on the board to, to achieve our goals this season. And we've got the trophy next week that we're, we're desperate, best desperate to win. Um, it'd be fantastic if we can get some fans up there and, and give them something to shout about. And uh, yeah, long may, long may, long may this unbeaten run keep carry on. Brilliant, Paul. Thank you very much once again. We'll see you in Manchester next week for another long journey up there. All right for you, not not so far, but uh, there we go. Brilliant against York today, and uh, just a shame we couldn't win that one, but fantastic. Thank you very Thank much. You.